friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I am going to be sharing with you this lovely quad from Rogue Lacquer. This is the Wilds of Arizona collection part three. And fun fact, I already filmed this video uh, but I had lipstick on my teeth so I'm refilming it. You're welcome. This quad has already been released from Rogue Lacquer. They are $11 a piece on the Rogue Lacquer website which I'll link down below or the whole set is $36, $38 somewhere in that range. So I will link that down below for you and you can check it out. First up is cactus flower and cactus flower is this like mustard base with those red to green shifting flakies in here and then also a smattering of holographic shimmer. The holographic in all of these is really subtle. I see it on the nail once it builds up in two coats but in the bottle it's very very small fine particles which is really nice so it's a little bit of a scattered effect but it's not you know, like huge glitter particles. So I don't think that this will be challenging to remove. Um, I didn't have any trouble with it. Those flakies come off pretty easily. You have to scrub a little bit. Uh, and the hollow glitter, like I said, is small enough that I don't think it'll be a challenge. On one coat, this was a little bit sheer. I had a little bit of visible nail line. On two coats though, I actually really feel like it's built up enough. I thought I was gonna need three, but I think the color in this base is really pigmented and those flakies kind of, you know, reflect the light, reflect the light, refract the light, all of those things. So this is two coats of cactus flower. Okay, this next one is a little bit more neutral. This is Wild Wild West. This one is more of a taupey base with those same flakies and holographic shimmer. In this one, I feel like the holographic shimmer stands out a little bit more. I don't think that there's more in this one than there was in Cactus Flower. I just think the base is a little bit of a lighter color. It's maybe a little bit more translucent. And so those holographic really kind of pop on my nail in this one, even in two coats. On one coat, this one is super sheer. So this one, you just get kind of like a kiss of that base color and then you do you get a nice smattering of flakies. I feel like all four of these are super dense with flakies. I'm not having any issues with any of them uh, with only, you know, two coats getting enough flakies. I do actually think that the base builds up well enough in this one that it's opaque for me in two coats. You could probably do a third coat, you would get more flakies, but it just felt good enough for me in two coats. So that's where I'm gonna leave this one. Okay, this one is monsoon season, and this one is a little bit more of like a slate gray base with that same holographic and the flakies in here. The flakies in this one seem to be about the same density as the other three that we've looked at. I really like the color of the base in this one. I think it like pops those flakies really, really well, and it pops the holographic. This one's like a neutral, but then those, you know, additions and this polish really kind of give it some extra flair. Uh, this one is probably the most opaque on the first coat of any of the ones that we've looked at so far today and so I think I'm not gonna have any trouble getting this one opaque on two coats I feel like you're definitely not going to some of the others you might have wanted a third coat but this one I think is really deep and, and dark enough that two coats is totally fine for most of us um, again I think the holographic really stands out really well in this space it's super rainbowy when I'm looking at my bottle and I just think it's because of that dark base it pops off it's not going to be hard to remove because it has those flakies and the small holographic. So that's two coats of monsoon season. Okay, and last but not least, this is Turquoise Mountain. This one was my husband's favorite when he saw the package. He said that it looked like Lady Liberty, which makes sense to me. Um, it's a really pretty turquoise base with those, you know, copper red to green flakies and the holographic shimmer in here. This one, I think on one coat, I was surprised how sheer it was because in the bottle it looks pretty creamy and pretty opaque. But on two coats, I feel like you do get a little bit more buildup of that base color. I am going to just do two coats here, but I can see a world in which someone might want to do three just to get a little bit more density on that base. I feel like there's so many flakies in these polishes that if I do a third coat, I'm going to lose the base color entirely and I'm just going to see flakies, which, you know, maybe is not a bad thing. But in this case, I absolutely love the base color on this one. It, the combination with those like copper, red, green flakies is just absolutely stunning. And the holographic in this one kind of sits at the back. It's a little bit more subtle, kind of like the cactus flower, the first one we looked at. So I just, I think this is a really lovely polish. It's really unique in my collection and it's gorgeous. 
as a lot of you know, I am kind of working on refining my PR philosophy and kind of who and what I accept PR from um, going into 2020. I just want to be able to spend my energies doing the things that I'm most excited for. But I agreed to swatch this collection because honestly, they've been on my list to try for a really long time. And so when she reached out to me about swatching these polishes, I said yes, because I was really excited to try them. Again, like I said, they've been a brand that has been on my list to purchase from for a while. And so I felt really comfortable saying, yes, this is something that I want to talk about on my channel. I want to share it with you all and so I would love to hear from you because I know that a lot of you are probably already diehard Rogue Wacker fans this is a pretty popular indie brand so let me know down below um, what you love about this brand and whether or not I should continue to keep an eye on their polishes and try some in the future as far as this collection in particular my favorites were uh, turquoise mountain this one is just such a gorgeous base color I can't get over it I love it and it got creamy and opaque in just like the perfect number of coats I really 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 enjoyed this one. I was very impressed with it. And the one that I can see myself wearing the most is Wild Wild West, which is the lovely kind of taupey one that has the flakes that just pop a little bit. I think that this like color base is a color base that I wear often and I can see myself wearing this polish a lot. So I have one that's kind of like my fun, you know, uh, out there polish that'll be really exciting and then one that's a little bit more like the one that I can see myself wearing all the time. Awesome. As always, let me know what you thought about this video. If you liked it, I hope you'll consider subscribing so that we can sit down and hang out and chat about nail polish again sometime. Awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.